an infinite, an infinite insulating sheet is oriented vertically at x equals zero. The sheet carries a surface charge density of sigma, which is 5.2 nanocoulombs per square meter. What is the potential difference between points A and B? All right, potential difference, that basically means voltage. And so my first thought process is, you see, when you ever think of um, infinite insulating sheet, you should think of the electric field. So the electric field is going to be sigma over 2 epsilon naught. Ooh, sigma. There we go. Good call. Good catch. All right. Voltage is negative integral E dx. In that case, x is going to be, I guess, that direction. I'm going to draw the electric field on this. So it's a positive surface charge density. So the uh, electric field lines are going to start at the charge and go outward radially. And it's going to be uniform everywhere. It's going to be independent of distance because it's sigma over 2 epsilon naught. No r involved. And since it's uniform, we can rewrite this as uh, negative e dx, which is becomes negative e delta x. Because the integral of dx just is um, uh, x. And so it's basically, I wrote delta x not to be a, uh, a small difference, but just between the beginning point and the end point. So this distance right here, that'll be delta x. Okay, so what is the potential difference between these? So VB is going to be E, which is sigma over 2 epsilon naught delta x. So that distance. And then VA is also going to be sigma over 2 epsilon naught delta x. And the question here is then going to be one of the signs. These are, these are both going to be the same. So we think about this voltage at B, delta x is this way. The electric field is also this way. Therefore, E times delta x are both going to be uh, positive or the same sign because it's positive E times a positive delta X. For A, delta X is going to be this way, E is going to be this way, and therefore it's going to be positive again because you have a negative times a negative, both the same direction. And so VA is going to equal VB in this case because they are both at a distance of 4.1 meters in the X direction. The Y irrelevant, no one cares. Uh, because it's an infinite plane, It's all the electric fields are straight perpendicular to the plane. So VA equals VB, therefore the potential difference, VAB, which might be, which I think there's different notations for this, but I'm going to say that VAB is, implies voltage B minus voltage A, which since they're the same is zero. So the potential difference between points A and point B is zero. And this is the thought process and how I would approach that. Hope that helped. See you on the next problem.